Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, behold, I stand. At the door and knock, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come. Up with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame. And I'm sat down with my father on his throne. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your Hey friends, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and were blessed by the message in this song, would you help us out by sharing it with a friend? Just one friend, if each of you shares it with one or two or three friends, we can make a difference together. And maybe there's somebody out there that is struggling, that doesn't feel loved by God, that is maybe fighting an addiction, having a family issue, and a song can be what they need to hear to encourage them. We've received story after story of people saying it was a week where I was struggling and the promise of the song that you shared was what kept me through the week. Some people saying it's what starts my day, the song, the promise, and it's making my day. And you never know what a friend or what somebody's going through internally, but always the promises of God and music that uplift our hearts to Him can be something that encourages and and keep somebody going that it's almost about to give up. And I love the promise in this song that says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. It's talking about Jesus. And he's really a gentleman. You see, the devil and the world many times pushes. We have a cancel culture. We push our ideas on others. We uh, ostracize people that don't accept us or that don't think like us. But Jesus is a gentleman and he's represented as knocking on the door of our hearts. He won't force himself in, but he's the only answer to our needs. 
He's our creator. He knows us. In Psalm 139, it says, Whither shall I flee from thy spirit? Or whither shall I go from thy presence? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, if I go in the darkness, you are there. In other words, God knows the crevices, the corners of your heart, of your emotion better than you know ourselves. He understands some, some knots, some entanglements that we don't even know how to solve. And He's knocking and He's saying, if you let me in, I will come for a relationship. You know, eating with somebody, many times it's a time where we, we take it to, to have conversations, to connect. We go out and eat with friends. We go out and eat for a date. We go out and eat with family. And Jesus says, I want to have a relationship with you. And this relationship will be of a healing nature. I am willing, if you give me access, to go to the corners of your heart, to places where there's depression, where there is addiction, where there is brokenness. And He says, I specialize in healing brokenhearted. That's what Jesus said. I have come to set the captives free, to heal the brokenhearted. But He needs your access. He needs you to say, come in, Lord. My heart is yours. Behold, He says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me on my throne, even as I also overcame and I'm sat down with my father on his throne. What's the final purpose of, of you opening your heart? So that Jesus can heal you, can prepare take away the selfishness and give you His love. So one day soon, His final goal for you is to sit with Him on His throne. Be a king, a queen in His palace, in His throne. That seems for me mind-blowing, too good to be true. But that's the God we serve. A God that doesn't see us for our mistakes, but sees us for who we can become in Him. If you've never given your life to Jesus and would like to say, I want to give a chance to a God that loves me that much, just say the prayer, Lord, come into my heart. I give you my life. I give you my future. I give you my plans. Take me. I am yours. And you will see how God comes into your heart with peace, with love, and changes your life. If you have already given your life to God, but maybe have gone back to old addictions, maybe you've grown distance from God. This is a daily prayer, a daily knocking, and you can say again, God, come into my heart. Maybe there are rooms that I've shut closed. I've, I've kind of let you in, but not fully in. I want you to have complete control and He'll come and sup with you and have a relationship where He can restore you to His image, to one day sit with Him on His throne. If you would like to listen to this song, you can find a download in the link below, also a playback or the sheet music, so that you can continue listening or sharing this song with others. Also, our music can be streamed on Amazon Music, Apple Music, or Spotify. And if you would like to find other resources, you can visit our website below, giveglorytohim.org. And maybe some of you are wondering, how can I be part of producing these videos? We have a family of contributors, a family of Give Glory to Him that is monthly supporting others that just support one time, but every help and every prayer and every contribution makes a difference to create these videos and reach more people with hope. So if you wanna be part of creating future videos, you can go to our link below with one-time donation or go to our Patreon platform and support monthly to help produce more content. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. We have several videos lined up that we'll be releasing soon. And if you hit that bell, you will be notified each time we upload a video. Until next time, my prayer is that you can experience Jesus, not on the outside knocking on your door, but inside dining with you and preparing you to one day soon sit on His throne. 
May God bless you. We'll see you on our next video. Thank you.